Allora, allora. allora. Mi sei una board. Uh, this we don't need because we will do some wave action today. Oh, yes, boy. Today it's Neil's 30th birthday. Happy birthday to you. And now that Niels is half dead, he can try front loops. Now in my 30s, I start wave sailing. I do opposite. First, I start with speed, then I do slalom. Now I start with wave, and then when I'm 60, I start with freestyle. Oh, yes. So I'm gonna do it. We will go wave windsurfing, and my long-term viewers know it. It is our absolute speciality, because we have almost zero skills in the waves. Where I come from in Germany, there are simply no waves, there are lakes. What we have, guys, is of course the best equipment, because we are also here on Sardinia to make product videos. And for myself, I have a yellowfish, the newest one from Futurefly, 87 liters. And Niels has the brand new free wave board from Futurefly. It's completely new for this year. We will go to a spot where we both have never been before. This is how the blue rabbit looks. Footstraps are placed. You ready to go? Me? Yeah, yeah. always. Yeah, we don't have sunscreen. Is it easy? No, I go there without it. The sun is green. my nipples. You have a beautiful breast. <laughs> Guys, we just saw the water on the west side of the island for the first time. It's freaking scary. Oh god. Man, the waves are from what I can see, it's two meter already. I thought we would have like a relaxed session and now it looks like it's gonna be hardcore for us. We are Germans coming from a lake. Don't worry. It's uh, too much a wave for us. You just uh, go and die on the rock. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god. It's a huge point break. New set. Oh, oh my god. On the webcam it looked like 50 centimeters. <laughs> Yeah, here, here, this is probably one of the this spots. Is the spot. Oh man, this is a big, big... Oh, this is not good for us. Look at what is written on the ground here. Only windsurf surf. <laughs> Somewhere back there is the spot that we will go to. Guys, that's it for Cala Pesquina. We're gonna drive now to the actual spot. But uh, yeah, we already got a glimpse on how it could be today. And it could become anything from super sick to super tricky. Let's go to the right spot. Oh man, it looks freaking sketchy. If we cannot turn here, uh, we have a problem. No, there is a turning place up there, I saw. Look, there is a what is there's a road sign. Man, oh god, everything will be destroyed. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. You have the Berganfallhilfe or not? But now it's going down again. But we are about two kilometers and 200 meters of height away from the water. Guys, you have no idea how shit the road is and how steep this is going down. We're, this is about 20% of decline and the road... What the fuck is this road? But down there? is supposed to be a wave spot Hopefully somewhere. it's worth it. <laughs> oh man. Next try. The previous spot wasn't feasible. So we found the gate. <laughs> we don't know what it's made for. But uh, yes. Ooh, I hope this spot looks better than the last one. I didn't like it. Uh, oh, it's looking better and better, guys. Sun is also coming out. Seems like we found a yeah, a little bit of a hidden way down to the beach. It's forbidden to drive here, but we see car tracks everywhere. And the wind is good. The waves are good. No, we can't go out here, guys. This is, this is death zone. I mean, look at it. How should we go windsurf here? Wow. Guys, we are back where we started. Gut, es sind halt 16 Knoten Wind, ne? 
We are checking the forecast. 16 bis 16, das ist nicht viel. We will now simply do it. We know it's not the perfect spot. And they, they wrote on the internet that when you write down these waves here, that steep rocks are coming out of the water. Um, so that's going to be quite tricky. Blue rabbit getting ready. Insta story. I'll take the yellow fish. Time to carry down the equipment. Ah, oh, we are both a little bit scared. This is not what we were looking for. Uh, wow, guys, this is too dangerous. Oh, but here's the beach. This is it, no? Wow, 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 we just need to get out here. This looks like the place for us. I'm in. Huh? Yes. Eight, nine knots of wind. Oh. This is where we put the equipment. Now this is the place where we will go out. It's almost no wind. Big waves out there, let's see.
guys. I'm completely under shock. Um, I'm off the water for 20 minutes now and I didn't fully realize what just happened. Something like this never happened to me before. Oh, it's hard for me to talk a little bit. I almost cried some, some minutes ago. Yeah, no, but I came off the water and I was like, no, 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 I'm not, never gonna do that again. You know, often you feel like, oh, okay, this was dangerous. It was kind of thrilling. Nice mm -hmm. that, I, that it happened, but not at all this time. This was way too much for me, way too much. And now I'm like, maybe you guys can tell me what to do, like... Now, now, honestly guys, tell me, if you look at the water, does it look <laughs> so dangerous to you guys? The waves that I, where I was in, they were somewhere here. Look, it's, you see nothing. And I wanted to go here, because here you can do some down the line surfing, I think. It looks beautiful. What the hell? I never had something like this in my life. I felt like out of nowhere these, these huge waves come. When I look at the water from the beach, you don't see it. You don't see it at all. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys later when I'm at home. I need to calm down now a little bit. I never want to have a situation like this again in my life. And the, the, the issue that I'm having a little bit is, is that I actually didn't see it coming. It's crazy, man. That th I, I think this is why I'm under shock also, because, you know, we, Sometimes, you know, you get into a little bit of a dangerous situation when you're windsurfing and you feel like, oh, nice, whatever. But I wanted to go somewhere completely different. What the hell? Now I, now I see these sets. Now I see a set like this coming again. Wow. This is where I went, sort of. And, and these waves are not even a third of the size that I just had. And then, somewhere here, these huge waves appeared. I just want to add that I will go again to this place. I will try and windsurf in these waves. I was completely overwhelmed after this session because I simply didn't see it coming. I expected something very, very different. And I'm going to show you right now. I couldn't show it in the action clip because it's simply too boring to show it. But I was sailing and sailing and sailing and I was out there maybe 400 meters away from shore, at least that's how it felt. And then these waves kind of appeared out of nowhere also. Like I wanted to, to do a jibe, I unhooked. And then I see this wave in front of me and usually you can see big waves from very far away. And then also I couldn't see behind these waves because these freaking waves, man, they were so insanely big. I couldn't comprehend how big they were when I was in the water. I was just looking at it and I was like, if I lose my gear right now, I am in a life-threatening situation because I, the current and the wind and everything, I, I would have to, had to swim for one or two hours. But I was so far out that I just wanted to, you know, do a jibe, go back, sail upwind to the down the line surfing spot. And this was simply so unexpected that I really was under shock when I came back off the water. And yeah, it's been a long time since I almost cried after a windsurf session. But anyway, I take two learnings from this. First of all, be more aware of the spot, even more than this time. Of course, we looked at the spot for 15, 20 minutes, but I simply didn't see the sets. Like, so I, in the future, I will be more aware of you know, unexpected events like this. And the second learning is that I definitely want to deal with these situations better when they happen. And I want to learn to windsurf in waves of that size. So I want to do it again also at this place. So I hope you enjoyed this very, very raw adventure winter video blog. If that's the case, you can leave me a thumbs up, of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel to not miss any of the future videos. Many, many, many nice videos will be coming this year. And if you need anything windsurf related, check out our windsurf online shop, The Wind Lounge. It's linked down in the video description. We are shipping worldwide, very happy to help you. And guys, I don't do the wave advisory. So uh, yeah, I know where my place is. <laughs> anyway, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.